Hello friends, this is Neeraj. I am going to show it to you today on how to install VirtualBox on Ubuntu 16.04. Find the same thing can be applied for 14.04 if you are a 14.04 Destro version person. So today it's very easy to install it. Fine, you can install it from Ubuntu Software Center also. You can type it here VirtualBox. Fine, and uh, you can click on over here uh, by install button it will start installing it but if you want some grip over the command itself i can show it to you how to install via command prompt also fine so this is also the better best version of it you can write sudo apt-get update fine why update our desktop first because it might happen that the virtual box source list which is available from uh, in the operating system might be slightly older so we need to update our uh, repository so that our latest version of VirtualBox can get downloaded and after it gets updated I would show it to you it doesn't matter what uh, you want to install you can install a lot of com uh, functions or commands from here fine so we, ju uh, we just wait for it to complete it fine uh, till it, com it gets completed I am just going to pause it for a minute after it gets up updated it might take from f uh, 2 to 5 minutes from here because I have I am having a good computer speed right now fine but some problems there I hope so just pausing for a minute Okay friends, as you can see over here, I have uh, fetched the entire repository from the internet itself. Now I am going to install VirtualBox using command prompt. So just a small command, it's VirtualBox. This command will do everything that is needed fine, after getting updated the VirtualBox. It is also going to ask me if you do not want this thing to prompt you again you can add minus y before install uh, argument fine in this command so it won't ask you for the any of the queries it's going to get downloaded approximately 22.9 mbs of archive files after it gets 22.9 mb of archive files from the internet it will start operating on it and installing on your operating system after it gets installed on your operating system it will require approximately 100 mbs of date, uh, additional space which will be avail which will be available on your hard drive fine um, I hope so it gets downloaded very soon approximately two minutes of time we cannot wait for two minutes uh, I'm going to pause it once again just to show you in a short time okay so here you can see the entire process has been downloaded and it's also installing and processing some of the triggers over here fine after it gets installed let me um, before it gets installed let me tell you certain things uh, it has downloaded certain number of files from here you can see it find these are the files that it got downloaded um, from so and so websites and other details is after getting downloaded it has faced approximately these many um, MBs it took approximately two minutes of time for me at 171 kilobytes per second fine uh, I know it's a slightly slower speed right now after it gets everything on order it starts unpacking uh, processing some of the triggers it starts initializing it starts building up the generic files modules and everything by its own unlike windows you need to um, in windows you need to download virtual box is a set of file also you need to uh, make some favors from internet do next 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 commands and everything here you just need a single command and by that mode you everything it gets downloaded it gets installed you do not have to just worry about anything so here you can see the entire DKMS process has been completed let's see if it has got downloaded or not uh, if I type just a second let 
so you can see over here if I type virtual box find from the command prompt itself uh, and press enter the entire virtual box is here on your desktop fine you can now install the windows operating system or you can install linux or solaris or any of the things that you wanted from the virtual box thanks for watching this video keep watching this is neeraj